Hi, my name is Brennan, and today I'm going to show you how to load licenses onto your IP Office system. The Avaya IP Office has two different versions of licenses, ADI and PLDS. The type of license used depends on the version of IP Office you are currently running. ADI is the older of the two license types, and is used with IP Office versions 9.1 and below. PLDS is the new license type, and can be used for versions 9.1 and above. Please note, if you are running an IP Office at version 10 or higher, only the PLDS license type is available. ADI licenses are provided from Avaya via a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and can be added to the system in a couple of different ways. Please note that this type of license is cumulative, meaning that loading a license file into the system will not remove or overwrite any previous licenses. To add ADI licenses one at a time, Click on the Licenses section in Manager, click the Add button, then select the ADI license type. This will bring up a few text box fields, one of which will be called License Key. Copy the individual license key from the spreadsheet file. If successful, the other text box fields in Manager should auto-populate with the license information being added. Once added, click OK. Notice that the license validation shows as unknown. You must save the configuration to the IP office, then reload this configuration to see if this license has come up as valid. To add multiple ADI licenses at once, select all encrypted keys in the spreadsheet file and copy. Next, go to the Licenses section in Manager, right-click in the middle pane, and select Paste. If successful, all ADI licenses should be populated in the Licenses list. As before, all new licenses will show as unknown. You must save and reload the configuration file to ensure all licenses have come up as valid. PLDS licenses are provided from Avaya via an XML file. Unlike ADI licenses, which can be added one at a time and are cumulative, PLDS files will contain all licenses assigned to a given system, both old and new. This means that if a new PLDS XML file is uploaded to your system, and this XML file does not contain all licenses, any licenses on your system that are not in the XML file will be removed from the system. As best practice, before loading a PLDS license to your system, you should open the file using a text editor of your choice to ensure that all licenses are listed in the file. To add PLDS licenses to your IP office, go to the Licenses section in Manager and click Add. This will prompt you to select the XML file to be uploaded to the system. Select the correct XML file and press OK. If successful, the IP office will present a message box stating that the licenses were added successfully. Just like ADI licenses, you must refresh the configuration file in Manager by closing and reloading the configuration to ensure that licenses are in fact valid. Thank you for watching.